The Deaf Empowerment Program is a consolidation of services for the deaf and the hard of hearing offered through the NDU and it seeks to facilitate full inclusion of the deaf into all aspects of society by focusing on addressing their most urgent need from the provision of communication services to focusing on vocational and rehabilitation services with the intent to ensure that persons with this sensory impairment are able to function effectively. So the major components of this service I will list now would be, of course, the communication support, sign language training, interpreting services like the ones we're receiving now, and advocacy and consultation. We're also going to be looking at information and referral services, guidance and counseling, telecommunication services, employment training and placement, which is important because persons with disabilities are still disproportionately re reflected in the unemployment figures in this country. The communication support service is the program that we think is going to make a big difference now. The communication support service is intended to meet the most critical needs of the deaf and the hard of hearing. And that is communicating with critical agencies and public and private sector institutions to be able to allow persons to transact business. This communication support service, believe me, will make a big difference to people's capacity to be able to communicate with other people. In essence, what we're trying to do is to make sure that when a person who is deaf or hard of hearing goes to a business place, that they can ask the receptionist, and we're going to have to do a lot of PR around it, but they can ask the receptionist or they can pull out their phone, and that we would have on call five persons who are able to communicate using sign language with them and communicate that back to the business place with whom they are interacting. We're working with obviously our partners in this process. The critical agencies to begin with would be in healthcare, so QEH and the polyclinics and so on, with welfare departments so that persons can get access to support services. And we're also going to be working with the licensing authority, NHC, the National Insurance Department, and so on, to be able to do this program.